Hi, I'm Richard, one of the developer advocates at Chainlink Labs. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to connect a hardware wallet to MetaMask. Now, you might wonder why we want to use a hardware wallet and MetaMask together. MetaMask offers a lot of benefits of ease of use, and hardware wallets offer benefits of security. Having your private key stored on a device that isn't your computer is a much more secure practice. So we'll be taking a look at how to integrate these two together to get the best of both worlds. In this video, we'll be taking a look at two different hardware wallets, the Ledger Nano S and the Trezor Model 1. We'll be using them with MetaMask. So the first thing you'll need is to have a MetaMask wallet set up. All right, so we're going to need to make sure that we have MetaMask. If you've already got that installed and set up, feel free to skip ahead to connecting the hardware wallets. But if you don't have MetaMask, the first thing you'll need to do is install it on your device. In this case, we'll be downloading it as a plugin for Chrome. Once we click download, we'll be taken to the Chrome web store. From here, we can add MetaMask to our browser. We'll add that extension, and then we'll see the MetaMask getting started page. One thing to keep in mind that's a little bit odd, even though we don't need an actual wallet from MetaMask because we'll be using our hardware wallet, we will need to set up a wallet to first start up. So we'll create a wallet. From here, we'll enter a password. This password is for MetaMask. This is the password to protect all of your MetaMask accounts. So you'll need to enter in something that is secure and safe, but this is not your seed phrase and this is not directly related to your hardware wallet. Once we create a new password, we'll be given the instructions on what to do with a seed phrase. You should already know this if you set up your hardware wallet, so we'll skip ahead and then we'll do something that we probably shouldn't do, but we'll reveal our 12 secret words here for our recovery phrase, and I'm going to go ahead and just download them. This will be creating a, another wallet. If you want to use this wallet, treat these seed phrase words as you should. Keep them secret, write them down, and keep them safe. I'm going to be throwing away this wallet. That's why I don't mind having this information shared in this video. Again, if you're going to actually use this wallet, you'll need to keep these words safe. So we have here our words. I've downloaded them. We'll need to go ahead and go through and verify that we know them. Just to set up our basic wallet here, I'll do that now. All right, I've verified that I have my recovery phrase and I can confirm and we're all done. And now we have a MetaMask wallet. But this is not the wallet that we want to use. We don't want to use this account that we just set up. We want to connect our hardware wallet to MetaMask. So how do we do that? Up here, you have your profile icon. If you click on that, you can see all of your different accounts. This time, we want to connect a hardware wallet. I will start with the Trezor wallet. We click that, and then it can take us to either buy or a tutorial. But it's pretty simple. We'll click continue and we'll be taken to the Trezor interface. Here we can export our public key. This will let MetaMask know about it. We'll need to enter the pin that we set up for our wallet. Uh, in my case, I've set a very simple, not secure pin of one, two, three. So I'll enter that now. The way that Trezor works is you can see here, there's a grid of numbers. So we'll click the corresponding dots. So one, two, and three, and we will confirm. Now, for me, I've set it up as a hidden wallet. So I'll need to enter my passphrase in. I'll do that twice and click enter. Now I'll on my treasure be asked to access the hidden wallet. I'll click confirm. It'll show the passphrase. Again, you want to pick a passphrase that is secure. I'll confirm again. And just like that, our hardware wallet is now integrated in with MetaMask. We can select which accounts we would like to bring in. If you just want the first one, you can pick that, click unlock, and now you'll see we have Trezor One as our account. So this is something to keep in mind. When you are looking at MetaMask, you have account one. That's that MetaMask account that you set up just a moment ago, and Trezor One, which is your hardware wallet. All right, so you've set up your MetaMask account. If you haven't done that and you skip just to this part directly, feel free to back up and look at how to set up a MetaMask account. But from here, once you have your MetaMask wallet set up in your basic account that you probably won't be using if you're using your hardware wallet, you can click on your profile here. You'll need to click Connect Hardware Wallet. In this case, we're connecting a Ledger wallet. So we'll click Ledger and we can click Continue. You'll see that it says no compatible devices found. 
And that's because our hardware wallet isn't unlocked. Now, previously I set up this hardware wallet and I gave it a very insecure pin, but for the purposes of this demonstration, it keeps things simple. You'll want to choose a more secure pin. I'll need to open the Ethereum application and you can see now that it's ready. When that application isn't ready, you can also see that MetaMask wants to connect to the device and our Nano S is right there. We'll click connect. From here, we have the option to import our accounts. We'll pick the first one. If you're using more than one account, feel free to select them as well. And we can click unlock. And just like that, your hardware wallet is connected to MetaMask. This gives you the best of both worlds. You will also be able to switch between your accounts. So if you'd like to switch back to the account that you created, the original wallet that's built into MetaMask, you can do that as well, but you'll need to make sure you know which one you are using when you're interacting with the blockchain. All right, you're set up with the best of both worlds. You have MetaMask connected to a hardware wallet. At this point, you're ready to go and can take on DeFi or whatever else interests you. If you'd like some ideas, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.